Welcome to this video. Now this rather lovely piece of titanium is the Nortent titanium folding stove. And in this video I'm going to assemble this stove itself and then we're going to compare it to two other stoves of mine to help you make your mind up which kind of stove you might like to use in the future for your hot tenting fun. I'm going to compare it to a traditional fully built steel stove and a smaller mini titanium stove to help make your mind up which stove would be ideal for you. And I'm going to cover optimum sizes, material choices, weight and cost. But in this video I'd really like some more information from you. Even though I've hot tented many times now, it's a massive learning curve and there's an enormous amount of choices out there. So I really appreciate lots of comments on this one, sharing your hot tenting choices for stoves, tent materials, stove materials, sources of wood, the whole lot. This should be a great debate because it But this is the night for the Nor tent to shine and I'm going to toast her with some Brewdog Black Heart Stout. Now this was kindly sent to me by Nor tent, but I'm going to give you my unbiased opinion. Right, let's have a little look in here. So I'm wearing gloves because before you do the first burn in, the titanium can mark. So this has got the side grates and there's a neat trick with that I'll show you tomorrow. And one thing I really like is in the top section there's a an initial spark arrester. Now that's not loose and rattly that's part of the top lid locking mechanism and something I really like is something to look out for on a stove is this top ventilation section here because this enables air to flow through the top significantly increasing the draw power. So let's show you the assembly. So this is the bottom section the legs just pop out like that and this seems to be double thickness suspect that might be for insulation to stop heat from being deflected down perhaps melting snow or just heat the floor which you wouldn't want slides along like that then we can put the top section on that just goes over there slides back and then we lift that little bit up at the back to just pop it over the last part when we get to the back we just slide that over the back there and that just locks in place and that's the stove complete. Just took a minute. Then for the side sections, there's one with a hole in and one male section. Just pop that in there. That goes in there and that makes a really solid structure. I'm leaning on that with quite a lot of force and you can definitely put some heavy pans on there. And finally, in the chimney case, there's some little compression straps, but you could use that to attach it to a rucksack or such like. So the baffle fits over the spark arrester with these little slots here, and you just twist it to lock it in place, and that's a really nice touch, because then that's kind of like solidly locked in place there. Of course, I'm not going to show it to you now, uh, but the chimney of course goes on the top there once it's rolled out lengthwise. This is the kind of case you can expect with a large robust one for the steel. This is the Nortent packaging which is a high quality ripstop nylon kind of attache case. It's got a little bit of padding in the lining and the chimney and the damper is kept separately and for the po molly we've got uh, a heavy duty but fairly simple non-compressible nylon case so more like for a laptop than a titanium stove 
So here's the steel, the Nortent titanium, and the Pomium. And this, incidentally, is the older model. The newer model has kind of ventilation down the side, but I got this one kind of like cheap. And this one's got a glass panel on the outside, and glass panels are available for the Nortent titanium for the side, which adds a lot of lovely ambience. Also adds a little bit of weight, about 200 grams each one. But worth noting is glass has greater heat con conductivity than titanium, even though this is much more heat conductive than steel. So let's talk about weight. This in its bag is 13 kilograms and evidently quite bulky because it's one solid piece. This weighs 3.2 kilos with all its bits and bobs and this one weighs 2.3 kilos with all its stuff and the case. Now when we're looking at sizes this is the bigger capacity 35 centimeters long, 38 centimeters long, 30 centimeters long 23 centimeters wide by 25 centimeters deep, 20 centimeters wide by 19 centimeters deep, and the wee po molly is 19 by 15. Now, the research that I've done, and certainly with my experience, it seems that the uh, larger stove like this, and perhaps a little larger than this, is suited to a six-man bell tent or lavu. The mid-size here is more suitable for two to four size tents and this size stove is more for the two-man tent. And again, I've not used the Nor Tent one yet, but that matches my experience with heating a two-man tent with this last weekend. And I've used this in the past for a large canvas lavu that, that I have that will sleep up, up to 10 and it would just about keep that warm. So when we're talking about portability the obvious thing is weight and fold size and here titanium wins out every time. Now titanium is the strongest available metal and it's 45% stronger than steel. There is some variance with grades of steel but for instance, this will typically be around 0.6 of a millimeter, but the steel stove here for the equivalent strength is more like three to four millimeters. But of course, this one's designed to be live a little bit of a hard life, as you can see it clearly has. I've rubbed it down a few times, but I quite like this kind of like rusty patina that's on it. And notably with steel versus titanium it'll also come down to cost but you can look at titanium as an investment because it's going to last longer you might argue that stainless steel's got a long life but if you've got something that's light and you're prepared to carry then you're more likely to use it as well and i, I would say the costs are different but if you compare most it's going to be about double the price with something like this approaching four to five hundred pounds something like this around half the cost of that but there's an enormous variation in price and quality as well plus titanium doesn't rust eh so if you are going to buy one stove I think something around this size is the absolute optimum really uh, it's not too big for a two-man tent and it'll heat a four to six kind of like no problem at all and of course with the smaller stove you you can only use smaller pieces of wood and that means more wood preparation more selection of pieces and of of course potentially uh, less burn time definitely less less burn time and tomorrow i'm going to compare burn times with some standardized material pieces of wood and a uh, recomposited lecto all night burn log to see which one lasts and I would expect this if it has more draw to last less time as it's uh, going to be drawing faster and getting more air through and potentially be warmer 
And I can see that as a good thing, really. What I've been using for lighting tonight are some mini lanterns. And keep an eye out on my torches and lights playlist because I'm going to be comparing these mini lights soon. So we've got the Phi Maple Sandglass, the Goal Zero Lighthouse Micro, and the Flex Tail Mini Pump 2. Right, I'm going to put these away now, so I'll see you tomorrow where we're going to have a little bit of a cook up. If the weather's all right, you've probably heard the rain on the roof here, uh, and a comparison between these two. Cheers. So, this is the Nortent chimney rolled out, ready for its first burn, and this is the Poe Molly one that's had its first burn. So, when it goes from that to that for the first time, it stays in its form, easier to roll, just like this. Then you just slide the rings on but retain its shape. Hill stove and it's just sections of tube that just kind of like fit together, a bit more robust. In fact there's a big crease in the po molly because I attach guy lines to the top to stop it from flapping in the wind on my last camp and I managed to trip over one of them and folded it right over. Disaster. But you know, you've got to have a bit of wear, haven't you? So I've prepped the wood and they've both got exactly the same pile. I've halved the same prepared pine for kindling. Half a stick each, half two little sticks, half a beech log each to build up an ember before I put the lecto bricks and a fire lighter each. So the wood is exactly the same. So what I want to know is which one is going to get going faster, draw faster, and I would expect it to last the shortest time. But don't forget, ultimately, with the equivalent amount of uh, space, the Nortent would last longer on a burn between top ups because it's a bigger stove. No tent first, because it's its big day. And then the po molly. And incidentally, in a tent with a lower stove, it's much easier with a stove that's higher, because you're like down on the ground practically to uh, try and get that wood stacked in. So no tent, many happy fires, mate. Can we see any difference in the drawing power yet? I think the structure of the slots or tubes that slide together seems to create a better fit. There's still a little bit of rattle in this, you know, just with the catches there. And with the hinges at the bottom, there's a little bit of air, so that's potential contaminants in your tent. Whereas this is kind of like much more sealed. That's just the uh, burning off there, a little bit of smoke from manufacturing. Which is why you need to do this before you put it in the tent to get any uh, kind of like solvents, etc. off. The Got the first hints of patina on the gnaw tent there. Now, I've tried to keep pace on the wood and that so far in the gnaw tent is more burnt down than the po molly. You see there's still a lot of unburnt wood in there and it's going much slower. And I don't think it's the size of the ventilation at the bottom, it's just the space around it. And this is the problem I had on the camp last weekend where I tried to fill it up with water and I made a mistake, it was too wet and too cold and just too much and it wouldn't draw around it. And I've definitely got the damper open fully on both. 
think the narrower diameter chimney makes a difference as well. This is a few millimetres bigger. I don't think there's anything wrong at all with a Po Molly. What I'm just saying is uh, uh, there's a big trade-off for that smaller size, that mini stove. I just don't know if it's worth that sacrifice of around a kilo less weight to have that. It's slightly under a kilo actually when I've work, worked it out. Uh, you know, you've got a lot more convenience and longer lasting and longer sections of wood as well. So yeah, swings and roundabouts like with tents and all camping gear, eh? Right, 30 minutes in and I've just chucked on the night briquette there. And just squeeze that in there. Trouble is, it should be on a bed of embers, so let's see if I can shift some of that around. Get it in the middle there. Right. Bit of wood there to catch it. Let's give that a go. Right, one hour in, the poor po Molly is doing lovely, and uh, there's a lot of glowing embers in there and unburnt wood, and it's just getting a hold of the briquette. Whereas expected, the nor tent's kind of like ahead with the burn, and as a result, it's giving out more heat. You can feel the difference. Let's see if I can measure it. So the surface temperature there in the middle of the Poe Molly is 216 degrees centigrade and the Nor tent is 270 degrees centigrade. So towards the back by the chimney the Nor tent is 320 and the Po Molly near the chimney is 270. Several hours later is slide the top off, put some sticks in, get a little fire going. We fire going, we just take one of the side plates and they just fit on top there and uh, we've got a nice little fire pit or barbecue grill. So I'm gonna sit around outside that for a while and have a, another black hot, lovely beer. It tastes kind of like more ale than stout, but fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, have a look at the links below to these stoves. So this one is about, with the side plates, about $600. The 2023 version of this is about $520. So not much difference between them. There's a few of these left on Amazon, the older version. I wouldn't recommend it. The newer version's got side, uh, down the side, got side vents, which I would definitely kind of like go for. But yeah, so have a look at this from Norten. So thanks for watching. And good night.